Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. This is Panzer Dragoon HD. I'll say uh, <coughs> HD in quotes because we're playing on the Switch. Now, Panzer Dragoon is a game that I've like always wanted to play, but I never had a Saturn and I never emulated it. But it was a series that I always had my eye on. Um, the first two games really were essentially Sega's answer, I guess, to Star Fox. Star Fox 1 is fantastic. It's one of my favourite games. I haven't played it really in years, actually, apart from a quick few goes on the Switch. Um, and I was browsing the Switch shop the other day. <laughs> the other day, actually, the recording of this video, which is the Saturday the 3rd of April. Um, I was browsing the the shop yesterday, and I came across this, and I suddenly thought, oh yeah, I remember um, they were bringing out like a HD remake or remaster, it's more of a remake to be honest, uh, of this game, and it was on the eShop for like £5 I think, uh, so I thought, okay, I'll give it a go, and I've completed it three times. It's a very short game. I've completed it on the hardest difficulty twice, and I've completed it on normal once. It's a very short game. It's like 40 minutes or close to an hour, I guess, to zoom through it. Not a lot of story. Not really sure what's going on. I did read a synopsis, and essentially we are some dude who comes across a blue dragon called the Solo Wing uh, after its original owner gets killed by some dude on a black dragon and we have to take down an evil empire which has been hoarding beasts and monsters created from uh, a civilization that almost went extinct billions of years ago uh, I guess billions of years ago, not really sure. Uh, a very long time ago anyway. And we are the remnants of humanity. Uh, so there's technology in this game, which uh, I wasn't overly sure about. And we have to take down an empire and bring peace to the remaining humans. None of which is explained in the game. I had to go and read that. Uh, now you know everything that I know. So, let's go. Start game. I actually do continue. You continue? Okay. Oh, it says at the top there, Pandora's box. Uh, pass the cheat code to enter. So when you complete the game, it gives you a cheat code that takes you to a cheat menu that really doesn't have a lot in. I mean, it's got a level select and you can have rapid fire on and you can change the difficulty and use some concept art. And that's about it. Uh, oh, no, and you can make yourself invincible as well, but it's not a very hard game. Uh, well, I guess the last two levels are quite hard, but we'll get into that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I really did not expect this game to be so quick. But as it is, uh, let's just run through it. We're going to go hard because, I mean, I don't even know what easy's like. Normal was fine. Hard, hard does give up some resistance towards the end. But it's not bad. Let's go hard. I'm going to shut up and the game is going to tell you everything you need to know. I think, oh, loading times on the Switch are fairly savage, actually. Uh, not really sure, but I'm guessing on PC and the other consoles it's significantly faster.
so <clears throat> here we go the torch has well and truly been passed to us uh, episode one we are now aboard solo wing which is our blue armored dragon uh, uh, dragoon I, I i i don't know so uh these dragons dragons i'm not sure are biomechanical monsters war beasts that have been made by a civilization long since past um which is kind of like you know there's an interesting story here uh and the remnants of mankind uh left on this desolate planet uh are fighting for dominance i guess we are the uh good guys quote good guys i guess uh, fighting against this evil empire and here we are on our winged beast and we also have like this weird like laser plasma gun thing made of bone so everything we see these are all biomechanical machines which is really weird we have a lock on which we can sweep over the targets by holding the fire button down and uh, then release the button and it will fire uh, homing shots which is interesting um, and we also have like a rapid fire mode as well by tapping the button, uh, which is, you know, it took me a little bit to get used to that. I mean, this rapid fire tapping mode isn't as useful as, say, the lock on mode. But we can, we, we have very limited control over the uh, dragon here. Uh, we can kind of sweep him around the screen, but only to a basic effect. Kind of like Star uh Star Fox, I suppose. But we can change our perspective, which is interesting. I'm quite a fan of this system, and I just let an enemy uh, go by. You don't want to let enemies go by. Because they can bite you in the ass a little bit. Oh, God, a little bit later on. Uh, which sucks. Or they can shoot you in the ass, which is something that they do fairly often. Enemy design is very, uh, well... 90 Sega and I love it I am um, I'm surprised at how much I enjoy this game apparently this company is now working on a HD remaster or remake I guess of the second game now there was a third and uh, fourth game as well uh, the third game was a proper Japanese style RPG which is one of the most expensive games to try and get your hands on which I definitely do want to have a look at at some point. Uh, they also made Panzer Dragoon Auto for the original Xbox. And I had the demo of that when I was a kid. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I do actually have the real game. The actual full game, I should say. Uh, for my Xbox. And it is compatible. Uh, with the Xbox One. And they've um, made it look really nice, which is cool. Now, you can't destroy everything. There are some obstacles, like this big plant, where you just have to kind of fly out of the way. Uh, your health is not replenished between missions, either. So, bear that in mind. But you do have a somewhat large amount of health. You know, it's not... Uh, it's not a huge amount of health, but it's, I would say, sufficient. It's only really a problem in the last few levels. Um, there are some levels, well there's only actually seven levels, but there are some parts of the game where there is just so much shit coming at you, it's mind-boggling. Very interesting actually, to see just how much Sega Saturn was doing. Now, <coughs> obviously the Sega Saturn uh, did not look like this. No, this is actually a lot nicer than the Sega Saturn version. But why this is another franchise that Sega just abandoned, I don't know, man. So here's our first boss. Class in oh, what's that? Oh, I missed that. Imperial Cruiser or something. That's fine. I do love these end of stage bosses. They're great. You get an enemy uh, energy bar there and you just have to wail on this thing until it stops moving and falls into the drink. Uh, visually, this game's alright, uh, yeah, for what it is. It's very blurry, but that's obviously because of the Switch, you know. There is only so many, uh, so many teraflops, actually. There isn't even a teraflop, I don't think, of uh, power to work with. 
But uh, the universe itself for this franchise is really interesting. <clears throat> now, when you're looking to the side, I don't think you can move your dragon like you can in um, the forward-facing mode. So I don't really think you can avoid shots as easily, which is a bit ass. We're just going to keep whale on this guy. Oh, someone's trying to get away there. You have a radar as well, which is really useful. Um, even that doesn't quite help you in the later levels. It does get incredibly chaotic, especially when you start coming up against enemies that will pretty much take half your health off in one hit. If you die, there are no checkpoints. There are no checkpoints at all. You have to restart the level uh, from scratch, which isn't too bad because the levels themselves are fairly short. You know, 10 minutes at most each. Now, all of this camera stuff is on a fixed view, apart from our actual uh, camera viewpoint, which we do have to move with the buttons, which is a little bit jarring, I'm going to be honest. We've got to watch these torpedoes that somehow spring out of the water. Don't question it, all right? It's a video game from 1996. We don't question things around here. We just shoot. So we have this weird laser gun, and as you can see, oh, we got hit there. As you can see, a lot of stuff seems to be made out of bone. It is odd. The art style is very strange. All right, he's had enough. Get out of here. I'm also using a new editing software called DaVinci Resolve, which, well, that's been a learning curve. But I am preferring it to Vegas. In a big way. There we go. Mission 1 complete, or Episode 1 complete. Now, depending on how well we do here, which is why it's very important not to let enemies go, we get more credits. So we should, yeah, we get two credits for that. On hard, the shoot down ratio has to be pretty high. I think if you get over 85%, you get one credit. And if you get any higher than like 90%, you get two credits. And my cat wants to go out because of course he does. Come on then. Go out. Go on. I'm not going to sit here. He's gone. Okay, so uh, if we die, we do have to reach. Uh, I literally let the f let him out, and he's back in again. Uh, if we die, we have to start the episode again until we run out of credits, and then we have to start the game again. But uh, we can, we can, we can kind of, uh, we can work around those limitations because I now have the cheat menu so I can cheat myself to levels if we need it. But pretty sure we should be okay. As I say, the game's not hard, not really, until like the last few sections, which are fairly brutal. Position the wire barricade. We must capture that dragon at all costs. Yeah, good luck, pal. Not really sure who that uh, rider was in the beginning. He got that shot through his chest. And we've obviously uh, taken the mantle of responsibility. Uh, thanks, Milo. Please do not jump on my keyboard. You will ruin everything like you did the other night. Yeah, he's done that before. He's jumped up on my computer whilst I'm recording and stopped recording and messed up files and all sorts. No. Jump on the PC, do we? Roll all over like that. <clears throat> you can sit on me, that's acceptable. Do you want to sing the YouTube land, the voice of your people? Now you're knocking my microphone out of the way. Oh, cats. Why? Right, okay, cool. Let's go. Episode two. Desert world. Yeah, we got some, like, weird flying desert fish things, which are bizarre. And we have the mighty sandworm. Uh, probably not a sandworm, let's be fair. 
But they look like sandworm. Kind of. The mighty moonworm. And they have lots and lots of armoured, uh, like, shell on them. They've got, like, an armoured carapace. But luckily, we have this uh, unlimited power blaster. Oh, they look like buzzards or something. Weird. Okay. Took a few knocks there, which I'm not overly happy about. Actually, a hard game to commentate over, to be honest, because there's, like, so much going on. There we go. So I might go silent as I'm concentrating. Yeah, right, into the tunnels. I've got to keep one eye open on my cat as well. Yeah, he's really playing with the door now. I think he's, like, left and now he wants to come back in. Yeah, these weird bugs. I think these are similar to the bugs that our dude killed in the beginning. Yeah, if you wait too long, these guys are going to jump at you. And they do actually do a good chunk of health damage, especially on hard. Get out of here, dude. Uh, yep. You don't want to give these guys seconds to think because they'll climb up the walls, jump at you, and before you know it... They're also quite hard to keep an eye on as well. They, they do move with a decent amount of urgency. See that little bastard? Yes. Nice try, friend. If you don't like bugs, this might not be the game for you. But uh, these are supposed to be biomechanical war machines or something. Alright. Good stuff. I think we're clear. Oh, I was about to say, I think we're clear. Of course we're not. We're never clear. We do want to try and get that two life bonus if we can because <laughs> we might need it later on. I'm already playing rather sloppily. Yeah, they're really difficult to see the enemies. Maybe that's the switch's resolution. Maybe it's just a color palette. I'm not sure, but it's okay. We've got this, boys. We've got this. There we go. Not bad. And we should soon have our first encounter with the black dragon. Oh, no. We've got to go shoot these weird dudes first. Oh, man. Talk about target-rich environment. Oh, man, he's got the little baby ones as well. Yeah, not really sure of the life cycle of this planet. Because we've got these weird baby things too. And these guys shoot this green acid at us as well, which is not super pleasant. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I suppose we're in their domain right now. Oh, God, and they shoot big... I don't know whether they're turds or spikes or what. Hard to tell with these creatures, you know? Could be anything, let's be fair. But there is a couple of these bad boys too. I'm tempted to buy this on another platform as well, just to support the game. Now, here lays the problem. The full price of this game, not on sale, is like 30 odd pounds or something. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I don't think so, Chief. Okay, sorry about that cut, guys. Uh, yeah, my cat decided to jump up and stop my video recording as he likes to do way more often than I care to uh, remember to be honest probably about the fourth time he's done that which is very nice of him anyway where were we ah oh, shooting big worms yes I remember so these really do remind me of Dune maybe that's the whole kind of aesthetic they were going for here he who controls the spice controls the universe and that kind of stuff you know, that was a weird film, wasn't it? Dune. Apparently they're rebooting that or something. I don't know. They seem to be rebooting just about everything. Talking of which, uh, reboots and such, we actually watched um, uh, Evil Dead yesterday. I managed to introduce my missus to Evil Dead. She wasn't impressed. But the original film is a little aged, should we say? The second and third are infinitely better. Especially the third. Oh, we got movement. Ah, we got little bugs. That's fine. We can take these guys out. Get out of here. One left. Boom. Another one to the side. Got ya. Get out of here, dude. Ah, we took a bit of a beating there. Not great, actually. But it's fine. And there's the black dragon. The prototype dragon. Come at me, fool! To 
rend you from the very skies. Yeah, this guy's a bit of a douchebag, actually. Now, bearing in mind this guy killed the last rider, and we don't know anything about the last rider, uh, you would assume that he's some hot shit. Really? And he kind of really isn't, to be honest. Watch me say that now and get totally destroyed. There we go. Just use these lock-on attacks. That's the way to deal with this guy. He actually has this weird attack that he's probably going to do in a minute that makes me laugh. Very much reminds me of ye old. Yeah, there we go. Ye old arcade games. He shoots these weird broken eggs at you. But I think that's just the aesthetic of this game. Anyway, he's down. Kind of, but not really. He gets a good look at us. He's like, hey, who the fuck are you? I wasted the last guy easily. Yeah? Well, we've been training with a crossbow all our lives. I guess. Anyway, there's episode two completed. Hey, we did, well, we shot down 107. Missed eight, bastards. And it gave us a shot down of 93. Wait a minute. Oh, I restarted the level. That must count as a as dying when I realized the cats had stopped my editing software. God damn cats. Don't get cats, guys, honestly. Anyway, uh, because this video is now in two parts, I have no, no idea how long it is. So I'm going to wrap this episode up here. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time.